Well, hello guys, hello. and welcome back to the channel. So today we've come to Gainsborough Old Hall in Gainsborough, which is Lincolnshire, England. It's one of the finest preserved medieval manor houses in England. Uh, construction started in 1460. So we're gonna take you along for the ride. Come and see what you think. Let's go. Our tour of Gainsborough Old Hall started straight into the Great Hall. The house was built between 1471 and 1484. It is a wonderful example of Tudor architecture. It was built by Sir Thomas Burgh. He was a very rich, flamboyant, and a powerful man. Sir Thomas entertained no less than two monarchs at Gainsborough Old Hall. The first was King Richard III. It is said he enjoyed a very lavish banquet in the Great Hall. The second monarch to visit Gainsborough Old Hall was Henry VIII. He didn't visit just once, but he came twice. The first time was in 1509, and he visited again in 1541, along with his fifth wife, Queen Catherine Howard. It was at Gainsborough that Catherine was accused of an indiscretion and was later executed. In 1596, Thomas, the fifth Lord Burgh, died without an heir. The hall was then sold to William Hickman, a wealthy merchant from London. He made many improvements to the house, especially to the East Wing. The Hickmans continued to live at Gainsborough Old Hall up until 1720. At that time they built a new house at Thonock on the edge of town and the Old Hall became unoccupied. Architecturally, Gainsborough has changed very little since the time of the Hickmans. It is principally timber framed with typical black and white striped Tudor detailing. On the northeast corner is the most splendid brick tower. It has 59 steps that once climbed give a fabulous view over the town.
Today, the hall survives with its original elaborate timber roof, along with its kitchen, which is possibly the most complete medieval kitchen in England. It contains many original features, including two open fireplaces, each large enough to roast a whole ox. We felt that the house had a very friendly atmosphere. However, it is reputedly haunted by a grey lady, thought to be the daughter of the Lord of the Manor. She was locked away in the tower after a failed elopement, where she died, it is said, from a broken heart. The house was looked after from 1949 by a volunteer group who saved the building and first opened it to the public. It was Sir Edmund Bacon who gifted the house to the nation in 1970. However, the house is now owned by English Heritage. On our visit, it was easy to see traces of the magnificent lifestyle that Gainsborough would have provided to its owners. The great hall with its elaborate timber roof, ornamental stonework and oriel window must have been the most fabulous place to entertain the great and good of the day.
So we've just been inside Gainsborough Old Hall yeah. and it's a fascinating old place. It's packed full of history. Uh, we just stopped to have a little uh, bit of light refreshment, a nice toasted tea cake and a latte. And we're just going to take you around the gardens now, guys. So if you want to take a look, come along with us. Go. Well friends, that concludes our trip of Gainsborough Old Hall and um, we really enjoyed that. Uh, we hope you enjoyed coming round with us. A really fascinating old place with lots and lots of history. Um, we hope the video found you well today and uh, if you enjoyed it... Give us a like, subscribe, comment and ring the bell. <laughs> hey, any comments drop them below guys. We always love to hear from you. Take care and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.